Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at the independent horror film Seder Ridge, brought to us by the October People and directed by Jeremy Berg, who also co-wrote it with John Portanova, and Jeremy also helped come up with the story with Matt Medish. What's the story? Well, we have Samantha, played by Trin Miller, and Samantha was adopted at a very young age. Well, now we find her at college age, and she inherited land and a house from the family she never knew. So she decides to grab three of her college friends, go up to the property, and see just what she inherited. Well, she finds out not only did she inherit the house and the land, but there's also Eric the Caretaker. And after meeting Eric the Caretaker and spending the night in uh, the house that she inherited, she starts having these kind of wild visions. And she can't tell if the visions are reality or fantasy or some suppressed memory of some sort. And as her sanity is tested, so is the relationship among her friends. And we watch how things start to roll downhill faster and faster at a place called Seder Ridge. Folks, Seder Ridge is definitely a film that looks a lot better than its budget would imply. This film had a high production quality look to it, which was a surprise to me. Very few shots were dark or looked amateurish. Most of it looked very professional and higher and high quality. Plus columns there in the overall production value and look of the film. Loved some of the wide shots they had. Here's some of the cinematography, especially in the scenes while they're in the countryside walking around. Looked uh, really great. And so definitely a visually well done there. Now... As far as the story goes, it's something that we've kind of seen uh, before, okay? Uh, but it's still enjoyable. I still enjoyed it, though. It, the ending was a bit predictable of where it was going. I, I didn't mind it too much, okay? Uh, because I was so into the film by then. One of the characters that stood out for me uh, was the character Eric, who was the caretaker, D'Angelo uh, Midley. Uh, excuse me if I mispronounce that, uh, but uh, it, now his, uh, D'Angelo Midley's uh, performance as Eric, I love the Eric character. This was a great kind of original character that you didn't see uh, as a caretaker of this land, okay? Really kind of had this uh, 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 darker quality to him and definitely was enjoyable. And Samantha, the performer, uh, Trin Miller, does great in her performance as, you know, you buy into that she's kind of starting to lose her sanity and just exactly what is going on. And that's the thing is, you want to see what happens. You want to see what is exactly causing these visions. I like that as well. Well edited, uh, the film was overall, not too many really jump cuts or anything. And, you know, the, some of the acting was a little bit rough by a few, a couple of the performers. But, again, this is their first performance. So you can kind of forgive that a bit, okay? But they did well for the parts that were written in, and it didn't take away from the film. Nothing in this film really stood out to me as bad or as really horrible at all okay it was definitely a decent independent horror film it's a little bit of a slow burner but it does start to pick up at the end and the final resolution i think uh while it is a little bit predictable was uh enjoyable uh, to see how it comes uh you know how it comes to fruition how everything comes together so cedar ridge is definitely another independent film that needs to be put on the list of those who are fans of indie horror i, I definitely think you'll enjoy it so catch it at a festival if you can i'll put a link down below for their facebook and for their web page you can see what festival they're playing at and where you might be able to catch the independent horror film that is Seder Ridge and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut till next time keep that ticket stop